serious song, Dance in My Room, came out last year? Yes, it did. It just blew up. Well. What is your secret? What is the strategy? So I just got on TikTok, we all love, great app. And I made a spam account where I leaked all my music. One video started doing really well out of nowhere and it was a snippet to Dance in My Room. This is like two, three weeks before it was out, before it actually came out. And this video started doing really well. So I used that sound and took it to my main TikTok account. And I just used the video and was like, hey guys, this is a unreleased song of mine. I hope you like it. But then it blew up. It did really, really well. Wow. So that's when I was like, okay, I gotta keep making videos to this song like now. Yeah, if you're a musician, you're watching, take notes. <laughs> Those are the secrets. <laughs> Pull out the notebook. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's that's insane. That's crazy. The number one thing to take away from it if you are a musician is all you really need to do is show people why they should listen. And all that is, is showing them the music. And so if you post 10 videos to your song, there's a way higher chance that more people are gonna see it than if you post one video to it. It's awesome. And I'll see you did it in like just a couple months. Yeah, it was not that long ago. In September, um, I still worked a job as a dishwasher. Mm. And then, I had this one song called Demons and Monsters where I did the same thing I did for Dancing in My Room, blow up, not not as much, but that gave me the ability to quit that job and kept doing you know the same strategy and that's when Dancing in My Room started to take off. So it really was not that long ago. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot more content coming very, very soon. Peace.